Hi, my name is Dennis Siri. I am executive director and founder of the New York City Independent Film Festival, Independent in Spirit, International at Heart. And this is the New York City Independent Film Festival Meet the Filmmakers podcast. Join us while we meet this year's filmmakers. Thank you. Bye bye. Hi, welcome to this episode. We're here with Rhonda. Rhonda, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Please introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about you. Okay, I'm Rhonda Head. I'm from Opaskoya Cree Nation. That's uh, 600 kilometers from Winnipeg, Manitoba. It's a First Nation. And I've been a musician since 2010. I'm a 20-time international award-winning musician. And I just, um, I'm, I've won 11, I'm, I'm, I've won 12 music awards now for my my video, Island Dreams. And I'm really surprised about how well it's doing. It's, it's actually, uh, um, I'm kind of shocked about it, but I'm happy at the same time because uh, um, I'm, it's, it's one of my, like I just started learning how to um, do videos. So I, I'm really, really proud of the, how it's doing in the, in the film festival. So what made you want to be a filmmaker? How did that happen? So I, during COVID, uh, I enrolled in, in uh, a program called Broadcast Communication and Media with the Herzen College here in Winnipeg, and they offered it online. So I enrolled in it just to, because I, I started doing a podcast and, and I wanted to learn more about how to be a better interviewer and how to structure my podcast. So I took the course and, and, uh, we were given the option of, of going into radio or film. So we did a lot of work in, in uh, on radio, how to do commercials. But once we got into film, I really enjoyed how uh, how I could do stories and, and share my stories from my point of view in, in video. And I really enjoyed it. And, and that's how I got into video. So I'm, I'm uh, hoping to do more videos. And it's been such a, uh, it's been a wonderful experience and, and uh, I, I, I enjoy it. I really do. So I guess in some ways you answered, but how long have you been doing this? Uh, I graduated two years ago. So for about two years now. Okay. okay. And what did your friends and family say when you said, hi, I'm going to start making movies? What was their reaction? Um. I don't know that well I I always step out I always do things out of the box and try things new so there weren't very uh surprised I was I was uh going into the uh film industry so they're pretty supportive and and uh you know I I I went to Belize um two about two years ago during Christmas time and and when I was there a song came to me and and uh I wrote about my experience while I was in Belize 10 minute song I wrote it in 10 minutes and and I I told uh, my friends I made in Belize that I'm going to come back and do a music video and I did I fundraised for my like uh it was self um self I invested in it you know I I fundraised all the all the money to go and and um I went there and did the video I I I did the video of, of my experience of what what I what I my experience in Belize, like the the water, the land, the people, and that's what I did. I didn't focus on myself singing or anything like that. It, it, I told a story of my experiences, and and um, it was it. I know it's different, but but it's really uh, an, an awesome video, and and I captured this ex, the the experience of the local Belizean people, and that's who I focused on was the land, the local Belizean people, and the water. In some ways, you also answer the next question. You're doing well here. Uh, what made you want to make this film? But you kind of answered that, but do you want to add more okay. to it? Okay, sure. Well, I really wanted to come back and do the film because I wanted people to see how beautiful Belize is. And uh, I wanted to show people my experience while I, when I first went there. I was so aw awestruck by the beauty of the land and the friendliness of the people and 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 the food, the culture, and and uh, and especially the water. Like um, when I go there, I go to the island of San Pedro, and we're surrounded by water, and it's just uh, it was so beautiful and breathtaking. I just wanted people to 
to see what I experienced and hopefully they'll go there too. Okay. So I'm gonna put these two parts together. What was the hardest part and what was the most fun part of making this video? The hardest part was was fundraising the the funds to go there. Um, um, my my friend that I took who assisted me was uh, he was not used to the hot weather, so his skin was burning. <laughs> no. Yeah, I, but but I love the heat, so I was just um, enjoying the 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 whole trip. So that that was um, pretty well the hardest part is fundraising for the money to to go there. That took a lot of effort from, uh, you know, fundraising and and uh, all the events I planned and the raffles and everything that went into, you know, we had to pay for our, our flight, our, our um, we had to apply to do a video in, in Belize. We had to go through the Belize Film Commission and, and that took a long time. And um, uh, I guess the editing too, because we had to go back and forth with our producer in Belize and because we wanted to make it accurate. We, we wanted to make uh, Belize, uh, you know, we wanted to, to showcase the truth on how things actually are in Belize. So that that took a lot of time, a lot of work, a lot of effort. The funnest part was uh, getting to go around with our guide, uh, our guides on the ocean, uh, Joe Hernandez and Mark Mike Hardy. They're they're uh, captains and they're in uh, Belize, and they they have um, boats where they take tourists out onto the ocean and like that was so much fun I just love being on the ocean and and then uh with Horatio he was our pro local producer in in Belize and he took me to spots that I would never ever thought of filming and like he took us to his property and oh it's just such a beautiful land and 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 then uh you know and then he introduced me to lots of people in Belize, a lot of business people, and, and um, I have a lot of friends there, and I'm actually going back again in a couple of weeks. Very nice, very nice. Mm -hmm. So um, in the indie film world, we all know we're not gonna become rich doing this. So what does success look like? What do you, what do you see as success looking like, feeling like? Success for me is is it it's like um these indie films are like advertising for us so people are 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 curious to see uh, um you know my videos getting recognition in the indie film world and and you know my my YouTube numbers my YouTube views are climbing <laughs> and and then people are um are you know complimenting the video the song and and uh, it's like advertising and and. Uh, it's coming back in in really nice ways. Yeah, it's not coming back financially, but it comes back and and you know accolades, the awards that we're getting, that that I'm getting, and and uh, the recognition in the in the film festival. So, what happens if somebody comes along and goes, "Hi, Aunt Rhonda, I want to be a filmmaker just like you." What would you say? I would tell them to go to school, get get the education, and try and learn as much as they can on the craft. Cause I, I like I had no idea I was gonna be, I was gonna be making film till I came came across this uh, uh, course, and I absolutely fell in love with it and and uh, you know take risks all the time and and uh, try it out you know and, and you know start your YouTube channel and and TikTok and just start uh, making film but for sure educate yourself in in the craft that you wanna perfect. All right, so. The music video is called Island Dreams. It's going to be shown Friday evening, uh, June 8th at the New York City Independent Film Festival. Thank you, for Rhonda, for being here. Do you have any last words for us that you want to say? Uh, I just want to say thank you for acknowledging my video, music video, Island Dreams. I really appreciate it. And uh, congratulations to all of the other films that are going to be showcased at your film festival as well. Thank you so much.